Hope you're doing great. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for the endless support and encouragement. It's really what keeps us going. Today we are talking science and to be more specific, we are speaking pharmaceutics. Although what we are looking into today is more towards pharmacology, yet it's quite essential to understand if we want to have a good grasp of biopharmaceutics. So today is a continuation of what we've started last time. We're still laying the foundation for biopharmaceutics. Last time, we have had a go over some principles and stems which are used extensively in this branch of pharmaceutics. And today, we are getting into an important graph that you might have seen or will see often when studying drugs' behavior inside the body. It's the plasma concentration time curve which simply reflects how much drug has reached the blood circulation or in the blood circulation at a certain point of time. This simple curve gives important information that can be used to optimize various pharmacokinetic parameters as well as many properties of the drug and the formulation. So let's know what is the plasma concentration time curve and what can we know from it. Well, the plasma concentration time curve is built from the data collected after administration of a single oral dose of the drug withdrawing blood samples at certain time intervals and quantifying the concentration of the drug in those samples. So, the calculated drug concentration is plotted on the y-axis and the time of each sample is in the x-axis, forming the plasma concentration time curve. As it appears on the screen, there are certain concentration-related terms to know and there are other time-related terms to acknowledge here. We will start with the concentration-related ones. So, at time zero, there is zero concentration of the drug in the plasma, but as time goes by, we will start reading numbers higher than the zero. And that is because the drug has to pass from the intestine to the bloodstream. In other words, the drug has to be absorbed first. The concentration will continue to increase till certain point and then will start to drop. So what is happening here? Well, in the segment where the plasma concentration is going up, this is termed the absorption phase. It is where the absorption taking place, meaning that the drug is moving or being moved from the intestine to the bloodstream, which would add on the concentration in the plasma every time more drug comes in from the intestine to the general circulation. The other segment where the concentration is dropping is where the drug removal dominates. Removal here describes the drug distribution to various tissue parts and the elimination of the drug that can be through excretion or metabolism, as we referred to earlier in the introduction to biopharmaceutics video. Both distribution and elimination result in less concentration in the blood circulation meaning less plasma concentration and at the very very end only elimination takes place that's why some refer to this segment as elimination phase so the drug gets absorbed and that what makes the plasma concentration goes up and then removed and that what makes the plasma concentration goes down well i wish it was that simple but this is not what is happening here Actually, the elimination is encountered from the very beginning, and when the absorption rate is higher than the elimination, we get the ascending pattern in the curve. And when that is reversed and the elimination takes over the absorption, the concentration starts dropping down. Of course, at a point, the absorption will stop and there will only be elimination controlling the amount of the drug in the plasma. And this is usually at the end of the curve. It's in the elimination phase we've just referred to. 
After understanding what is going on here, we will learn now some concentration related terms and other time related ones. Starting with the concentration related terms and the first is the minimum effective or therapeutic plasma concentration and it is as the name implies the lowest concentration upon which a therapeutic effect is achieved or simply the lowest concentration of the drug in the plasma with which we really see that the drug is imparting an action. It is different from drug to another, from person to another, and also affected by the severity of the disease state. And once we have the minimum, of course we would have the maximum, right? Here the term is the maximum safe concentration and this is the concentration above which unwanted effects or toxic effects are encountered. We always want to play safe and never exceed that concentration. Well, the range of concentrations between the minimum effective concentration and the maximum safe concentration is the therabiotic window. It is where the drug imparts its therabiotic effects and not the toxic ones. And this is where all drugs are wanted to reside. In some cases, and actually majority of the time, the concentration achieved after taking the drug doesn't reach the maximum, but it is within the therabiotic window. And this one has a special term. It is the peak plasma concentration or the CMAX. CMAX is the concentration related term, but it is usually coupled with a time related term, which is the TMAX or the time of peak plasma concentration. And it is obvious that the TMAX is the time required to achieve the CMAX. The time to reach the maximum plasma concentration the dosage form can achieve. With the Tmax, we'll now transition from the concentration related terms to time related terms. And the second on this list is the onset, which is the time needed to reach the minimum effective plasma concentration after taking the medication it's when the drug starts acting and the time period throughout which the drug is still acting is called the duration as long as the concentration is above the minimum effective concentration the drug will still be acting that's why we can define duration as a time period during which the plasma concentration is above the minimum effective concentration an important term that combines both concentration and time is the AUC, area under the concentration time curve. It is related to the total amount of the drug in the plasma following administration of a dose. The AUC is related to all ADME ADME parameters, the absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion and we will have separate series on this. Today, we understood what is the plasma concentration time curve and what does different points on it mean. The minimum effective concentration and the maximum safe concentration, the therabiotic window as well as the peak plasma concentration or the Cmax together with the Tmax in addition to onset of action and the duration of action. With this, we come to an end to today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, stay fabulous wherever you are.